Agrio, move from place to place playing his music. One night he approached a crossroads where there stood a gentleman. The griot looked him up and down and he had hooves for feet. I've been watching you, said the gentleman, and you with that thing can make people feel anything. Happy, sad, glad. Bad, and that is power. I would pay good money for that instrument. Name your price. Now times were hard. People paid whatever they could to the griot for his music, but it really wasn't much. I know, thought the griot. I'll ask for so much money, the devil will disappear in a huff and a puff of smoke. Fill my pockets with gold. Done, said the devil. And the griot's pockets sagged. He put his hands into them and they were full of cold yellow gold. The griot stepped back. The devil stepped toward the balafon and it was gone. And so was the devil. The griot travelled on. He bought an another instrument, but it wasn't the same. Then one evening, he was walking down the same road. He came to the same crossroads and there was the devil pacing round his balafon. You tricked me! You switched instruments! How did you do it? What do you mean? Well, when I tried to play it, I couldn't make people feel the things that you could make them feel. The griot, give me the beaters. And he stepped before his beloved balafon and played, and the music was sublime. said the devil. How is it you can make people feel things with that instrument that I cannot? That, said the griot, is because I sold you the balafon. But I kept something else for myself. Something that you or anyone else will never have. I kept my soul.